We're back with Harriet Chandler, the acting Massachusetts Senate President, the LTR Pop Quiz. Question three is, it may have happened almost 50 years ago, but the bribery of some legislators by a construction company is still visible on which state university campus? Happened about 50 years ago. If it ago. was 50 years ago, it must have UMass Boston. Bingo, the parking garage. It was so poorly constructed, it had not been used in years. Two state senators went to prison on corruption charges mm -hmm. related to the selection. Thank you for that hint, though. You nailed it. You nailed it. That's, That's one advantage you. of being on Beacon Hill for a long right. time. <laughs> you know, you, you can, can remember. reach back and remember. remember these You've heard. Brilliant You've detective heard. Work. That's correct. All right, here's the, here's the last OT of prop quiz. What was, the, what was the issue that got former House Speaker Tom Finneran in trouble? Oh, it was the issue of his district and whether he knew or didn't know about the redistricting issue. Convicted for providing false testimony in a federal civil suit over the House's redistricting plan. I'd say what, three for four? No, let's three and say, a half for four? It's Christmas, let's just give four it a four. Four for four, oh, okay. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wait thank a minute, this, this is a, <laughs> this is a very nice, terrible person. <laughs> Back to Beacon Hill. Uh, Governor Charlie Baker, he's uh, kind of frustrated because of legislative inaction over several of his top priorities. Um, there is the uh, wiretap law, the life sciences funding, to name just two of them. Some of these have been lying around since the summer. How long do you think he's gonna have to wait before he's gonna see any of this on his desk? I think we're gonna try, and, and it might not look exactly as he has desired it to look, but I think we're gonna see a lot more legislation coming out now. This is, we're going into the last year of our biennial, and uh, we need to make sure that people understand that we work and work hard. We've done a lot of things. We've, uh, we've done a, a, a very s s strong bill on uh, criminal justice reform that is now in conference. We have also done a, a health care reform bill that is, is a very important bill that I've worked on. We have education ahead of us. We have housing, a very important issue because we have, we're so short of housing in Massachusetts. Uh, we have a lot of legislation to get through, and we need the governor to work with us, we need the House to work with us, and we need to, to work together. Um, the word soon on Beacon Hill could mean four or five months because that's how, th quick, how slow things can move. Um, are you talking about getting some of these bills, especially his priorities, on his desk by January or February? I can't say that for sure, Janet. Mm -hmm. I can't say that for sure, but you're going to see, starting in January, you're going to see a, 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 a lot of legislation starting to move. Uh, very quickly, we hope. I, I, I just, uh, uh, this stuck in the back of my mm -hmm. head. How smothering can be the, the, the Stanley Rosenberg cloud? That, you know, you have, you have business to do. You have legislative business you need to conduct. You have the people of Massachusetts you need to provide for, and yet this is sitting. How smothering can it be to handcuff you in the business that you're doing? I really don't think it's that smothering. It's a terrible cloud over our heads. There's no question about it. But I serve with very able people who are very dedicated to the institution we serve. And we feel very strongly that in spite of this problem, we must go forward. We serve the people of the Commonwealth as well, and we can't forget that. That's, that's who we really serve. And it's the integrity of, of our institution that's at stake here. What do you want for Christmas? I want to do this job and do it well. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Thank you very so much. So Santa Claus, please uh, yeah, we'll, that for we'll me. We'll put that, write that in a note to self. We're all set. Thank you and Merry Christmas to Harry Channel. Thanks Thank for joining you. Merry us. Merry Christmas Thank you all. Thank you. As we continue on this Christmas Eve, and we have determined it is Christmas Eve, even though it's 11 o'clock in the morning. OTR said Ryan Stanley is ready to hand out some political perks. Stay with us. The true source what would you get President Trump for Christmas? I don't know, a chance to travel back in time and do things a little differently? <gasps> 